Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review on Valentino Beauty. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about this new luxury beauty line from Valentino, then just keep on watching. Canvas today as I will be reviewing Valentino Beauty. I have to be honest with you guys, when Valentino Beauty launched um, first at Selfridges, I was so excited. I put everything on the car, boom, 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 boom. I mean, the bill was high right there, above $500. And then when I was about to check out, I realized that none of the products were able to be cheap to US, which is weird because Selfridges, they cheap pretty much everything to US, except for Chanel. Um, so it kind of it was a letdown and then I lost interest because there has been so many releases as per usual but then a couple weeks ago like maybe a week and a half ago Valentino came available to Nordstrom and I'm like you know what I don't know if I want it if I don't want it but you know Nordstrom was there the anniversary sale too so I said you know let's just add it to cart so I just add to my cart purchase the things that you know I was really curious about one is the foundation then I decided to go with the dream dust this is a multi-reflective eye glitter in what trouble I put myself on because they didn't have the eyeshadow palette and actually look into the morning they just added the eyeshadow palette to Nordstrom's website I'm like really so that came in later anyhow i got one of the lipsticks as well as one of the eye to cheek dual use blush and eyeshadow and then they also sent me these um kind of like mini lipstick with purchase so i will see the shade and maybe we can even try to that one too but yeah the line is fairly complete i mean i saw that there's um a mascara too an eyebrow pencil there's even glitter glue like i was saying an eyeshadow palette there's also a bronzer and then there's this little clutch kind of like those mini designer you know like purses that we have been seeing around like chanel has them like really cute tiny but obviously this is a compact it has a chain um it was 200 i think 205 dollars which i don't i mean like it's it's quite a bit obviously for one little thing and i mean if you're gonna use it you know it kind of makes sense but if you're not gonna use it as a little mini you know like if you're not gonna accessorize yourself it's kind of like hmm, don't know so i have my skincare already on as I usually do when I do foundation reviews, I just do one side of my face with primer and the other one without primer. So I'm going to be doing the Tatcha, the Liquid Seal Canvas. If you're new here to my channel, I am on my fourth floor. I do have mature skin. I do have a large pores, fine lines. I also have a dry skin on the perimeter of my face, very sensitive skin. And then on this area right here is more normal. Also, something really important to know right here is where I live at. I live in California right now. If you check some past videos, January, February, March, May, part of June, I was in Florida. So right now here, the weather, summertime is not super hot. We're around 70 degrees. I think today is going to go up to 84, something like that. And um, it's not humid. It's not super dry but it's not humid either. So anyhow, I'm just gonna use the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas, and usually I don't put it all over my face. I just go ahead and put it on my enlarged pores area, which is this area right here. And I'm just gonna do it on this side. Now the foundation costs $58. It comes in 40 different shades. And I read that I think they use the help of 5,000 people to actually develop their shade range. And the shade range honestly looks really, really good. They have different levels of shades. So it's one, two, three, four, five, I think. And then undertones. R is for Rosso, which is red. A is for Ambra, which is yellow undertone, and N is for neutral. The foundation is made in France, and it comes with 0.84 fluid ounces, which is shy of the typical one fluid ounces that we see in most foundations. Now, as far as ingredient list goes, um, first ingredient is water, then methacone, and then we have alcohol in there, the nature alcohol, 
Uh, let's see right here. Very down, down below, there's Lionel Lamonine Citrus Bergamia, which is bergamot, and um, citronella. So there's a lot of citrus oil extracts right here that if you have sensitive skin, you may want to be aware of, do a patch test and whatnot. Now, as far as the packaging goes, this is the unicorn right here. I will have to say it's a little bit flimsy. I mean, if I, like I have here a Tom Ford, this is very sturdy box right here, right? This one is more flimsy. I think that it's a big deal because this will go to, you know, like waste and trash and whatever. And then here is the foundation itself. Very pretty packaging, I will have to say. Glass see-through it's not frosted glass so you can really see the shade and then the shade that i got is ma3 so medium ambra and then in the range number three honestly i was just guessing and checking the models and hoping for the best i really love that it says valentino is engraved right there and then it has a nice bump so that's a good thing yeah it does say to shake really well so let's do that okay and then as far as consistency goes, it's not super liquidy, but it's not heavy either, you know? So it seems like it's to be a thinner formula. Okay, the shade seems to be good. And another thing, I do have a lot of freckles, so that is something to note right there. Let's go with a beauty sponge. Let's put a little bit more. Okay, the foundation is matte. It's a matte and kind of like a, it has kind of like a powdery finish. It's not the type of foundation that I usually like. We will see how it goes throughout the day and see if it, you know, with the natural oils coming through, it will adjust a little. Let's go ahead and apply it on the other side. And on this side, I'm gonna spread the foundation with my Sonia G Jumbo Base. Finally, I'm gonna try this baby right here. They actually restock this the entire brush set. And the Lotus set too is still in stock. So if you are wondering, by the way, I will be leaving all the details of everything that I will be using today on the description box below for your convenience. Now the foundation has a light scent a citrus scent that dissipates fairly quick. I know my goodness, I love this brush right here. It just spread the foundation with so much easy. What I'm noticing though, is that the foundation is settling onto my enlarged pores. If you're able to see, hopefully right there. But yeah, and you can see it does have a light to medium coverage. You can still see my freckles and a little bit of my redness. You know, let's do something now that we are here. I'm gonna just swatch this foundation, the Valentino foundation. And then when I was reading the description, I thought, well, soft matte, I usually do not use soft matte foundations. Um, I tend to go for radiant foundations. But I have here the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's so beautiful. It looks gorgeous on the skin. And yeah, it's just one of my favorite ones when I want a soft matte, but I want to have a little bit more of like a natural finish. This is what it gives me. And then one that is very natural for my skin and that I have loved for years and years and years is my La Mer. This is the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. This one right here, it's also a very natural foundation. It's not matte at all. Just gonna apply it right here. And then the finish of this foundation kind of reminds me a little bit more to the Gucci foundation. This is a natural finish, but on me it looks more matte, um, more matte than the Tom Ford. Um, again, the La Mer foundation is more skin-like, so it, it's truly matte. And this one is actually very, very yellow. Anyhow, I'm just gonna show you right now. They're still wet. I'm just gonna let them dry while I finish my makeup and now let's go and conceal these dark <laughs> circles. I'm gonna be using, you know guys, I need this. I need a color corrector and I love my turtle tilbury one. And also I wanted to do the concealer process on camera with a color corrector because you know guys, I have been trying the new Lancome 10 Idol Ultra Wear all over concealer. <laughs> 
<laughs> but another name. Yeah, I did my, I think it was a try and hold where I used it. And I have been using it on and off. Um, it doesn't have a very matte finish or a radiant finish. And it has to me a medium coverage because I do have very dark under eye circles. And they are, you know, they are not easy to cover. And I don't like to apply too much product under the eyes because I do have a lot of fine lines. But I really feel like I needed a color corrector under it, honestly. Definitely it's a very pretty concealer. It's not super matte, it's very natural. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Gucci setting powder. And I'm not gonna set the foundation because honestly, it already set. It's not really transferring much. And it already looks matte enough for me. Chanel Le Beige Sunset Bronzer. And this is a re-promote actually from last year, Le Beige Collection. So they still have it available. Let's see how well it applies on top of this foundation. It's applying really good. Like I said, the foundation really didn't need to, if you don't like to use too many powders, like I do, I, I honestly use very minimal amount of powders. The foundation pretty much self-set. Going now into the eye to cheek blush and eye powder. Nordstrom, don't put your stickers like that. It just takes off the beauty of getting a luxury product, honestly, my goodness. So, ew. All right. The packaging looks good, but it's very flimsy, lightweight. Feels more like a drugstore type of design. <laughs> so here you go, I got the shade number six. This one comes in seven, oops, where did that came from? Oh, it was up here. Um, okay, so a little brush. Let's see. Okay, so it goes up here. I don't know how convenient it is to have it right there, but anyhow, the brush comes up there. And I was saying that this comes in seven different shades. One of them is a bronzer, and another shade is of a kind of like a setting powder. Let's touch it. Ooh, I like this. It feels creamy. That's a shade six, which is more of like um it's actually a pink tone. In the pan, it looks a little bit more corally, peachy tone, but it's actually more pink. And then it also comes with a mirror. I'm gonna be using my Sonia G cheek brush from the Lotus set. And that's how much I got. Okay, this has plenty of pigmentation. It's more of like a soft matte formula. Doesn't have any shimmers. And I like the formulation too. It's very flattering. Very, very flattering. I'm gonna go back to the Chanel bronzer and first use it as a base and just Apply it all over my eyelid. By the way, I'm using a Scott Barnes number 62 brush. BK Beauty 204 brush. And I'm going to use it on my lower lash line. Now, I don't know what trouble I have got that myself on, but here I got the Dream Dance. This is the multi-reflective eye glitter <laughs> in Go For Gold 02. I think it comes in three or four different shades. It's just a very simple pot branded this is glass and oh my gosh you know guys that i usually do not use glitter so i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> but like i said they didn't have the eyeshadow palette available so i'm like mm. okay this is not super chunky glitter but it is glitter <laughs> okay let's see right here okay seems like it has a base you know what, I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to my eyes. I'm going to be using my Vanity Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. This eyeshadow palette, guys, this is amazing. This is the signature palette. This doesn't look like a Gucci packaging. I did my review already on this one, and I mentioned that too, but 
is gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Sunny G worker and I'm just gonna start adding more dimension to the outer V. And I started learning more about vanity makeup. I went to check Annie, the founder's Instagram account, and she has like over a million followers. She's a very well-known makeup artist for celebrities. And I'm gonna go to the shade right here. And I'm just like so in love with this palette. She did a stunning job, formulation, shade selection. You know, I compared it on my review with the Tati Beauty Palette too, and I think the formulation is also superior. But not only that, Tati Beauty's palette, I really like it, but what it makes it special about Tati's palette is her glitters, correct? Then all the rest of the shades, they are a little bit repetitive. So I find that with this palette right here, all the less shades, you receive a lot more product and variety and also different textures, different formulas, very beautiful palette. I'm gonna go with Sonia G Flat Definer and I'm just gonna take it on the lower lash line. So update right here from when I went ahead and reviewed this palette. I'm loving it, it's so good. You will not regret to get this palette if you have been planning to or eyeing it. Okay friends, let's go ahead and go for this crazy glitter right here. Looks very beautiful. Oh, but you know what? Let me just put some glitter glue because otherwise, hmm. And I have here the NYX glitter primer. And this is a good one. I mean, you don't need to spend too much money on glitter glue as long as it works and this one does. So I'm just using a little dot and usually I just go like this, rub it, and then tap in wherever I'm gonna apply that glitter. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey guys, you know, I really wanted to bring you the review for this Valentino Beauty, so here you have it, me using glitter. I went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara, eyeliner on the waterline, and also a liquid eyeliner. Like I said, all the products will be on the description box below. Now let's go for lipstick. I went ahead and purchased one of their satin lipsticks. These are made in France, and they have a shelf life of 24 months. I got it in the shade... 106.8 Soft Sienna. And I love that it says Rosso Valentino. <laughs> I actually like the style of the packaging. I think they did a really good job with the overall design of it. But the plastic is what it feels a little bit on the cheap side. It doesn't look, you know, heavy weighted. It's just the type of plastic that they use. If they could have used another type of plastic and these to be completely metal. This is actually part of the plastic. The logo is plastic and then on top it has an over gold spray. And for being something that is refillable, a little bit better. Something a little bit better, but oh well. Here is the shade. It is a very beautiful shade. No, gorgeous shade. Ooh, it glides like so easy. Okay. It's very creamy. I have to pass it a couple times. Now I went ahead and removed that and I received also a mini sample right here. And actually from um, Valentino Beauty, they also sell minis of these lipsticks. And I got it right here in the shade 100R, which is Roman Grace. Tiny petite. A pinky note. Not a mauve. More of like a neutral pink. It's pretty too. Let's go ahead and try it. Wait, they have a very soft floral scent. I think this is a very pretty shade, like an everyday shade. They are very creamy. I'm sure you're gonna need to reapply, otherwise you're gonna need to put a lip liner, you know, a 
for purpose of this review, I don't want to put a lip liner so you can really, really see the shade. And I also have very pigmented lips too. So you will need, if you have very pigmented lips, you're going to need a few, you know, passes. Really quickly, let's go over the foundation. And I have here again Valentino Tone 4, Soft Matte, then La Mer, and then Gucci. And you can see right there the finishes. Wow, that La Mer really <laughs> got in dark right there. But I will have to say Valentino is a lot thinner in consistency than Gucci, but very alike on the um, finish. Both La Mer and Tone 4, they remain more natural with a little bit of radiance, but more on the natural finish. I think definitely Valentino and Gucci, they are, out of all four, they are both more matte and in fact to me Valentino looks even more matte than Gucci. Now let me get you closer right here. The foundation is actually settling on these crevices right here of my nose. You can see it already sitting in there and also it has settled on my fine lines right here on my forehead which is my driest area and where I have more fine lines and then on my enlarged pores on this area right here it doesn't show as much as when I first applied it, but yeah, I think it benefit from having a pore minimizer primer like the Tatcha one. Now let me go out and about for my day. I will give you perhaps just two quick check-ins. One kind of like right now is about 7, 10, 7.10 in the morning, something like that. I'm gonna, you know, take my daughter to summer camp but then later on i do have a meeting with the teachers of my daughter for you know the new school year so i will need to remove these so anyhow i will give you kind of like a needed check-in and then before you know like four o'clock i will give you my final check-in and final thoughts about this entire makeup i'm not setting it with any powder setting a spray i'm just gonna let it be and see how all these things works okay so just keep on watching please try me Mia, don't get distracted. I know, she's practicing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, and then who is back here? Hi, my son. Yes, I'm reading the manual. <laughs> He's reading the manual. <laughs> okay, so here you go. Um, this is how it's looking like the foundation so far. I mean, I think with the natural oils, you know, I mean, it's still matte, but it looks a little bit more radiant. Start to get in a little bit better still has settled just a little bit but it's so thin that it doesn't look that much this is the only thing that i'm like okay i need to blend better next time but so far everything else is looking good um yeah so this is my first check-in um it has passed well, right now it's like um 10 30 ish something like that so i will give you a check-in like around noon or past noon it's about 1 30 and i wanted to give you a quick check-in as you can tell the foundation is still looking matte um very thin you can still see my freckles like i was saying um it didn't settle anymore into my fine lines here i am to do my final check-in my friends it has passed um at least eight hours is about to be four o'clock in the afternoon I will have to say, it looks um, very much as how I applied it at the beginning. I mean, it, there's not much difference. I haven't broke a real sweat today, but um, you know, my natural oils have come through. So right now the foundation looks a little bit more natural than when I applied it. but. Nothing had really changed. I mean, where it had settled a little right here on my forehead fine lines is still there. Um, I don't have any Botox right here. So, you know, the fine lines are there. Right here, it stayed the same, but it didn't gather anymore. It didn't remove in any places and whatnot. Um, is it my favorite finish of foundation? Not, it's not. I think it will be really workable if I use something underneath, kind of like that Bobbi Brown, the to call this vitamin and rich face base but yeah i think it will be beneficial something like that and when a person like me that likes more of like a radiant type of foundation that i do have dry skin like i said this area right here is the driest this area right here is not oily but it's more normal so i will put something perhaps like the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter or the auric um glow last 
Chloe's products, I don't remember. Anyhow, I will put something I like to that to just give a little bit of something something. What I like about the foundation, it is that it's not heavy, it's lightweight. Um, it does have you know really nice coverage in the sense that it's not too cakey, not too much, not too like wow, and it's also not super matte foundation. So when I said matte, you know, it's in comparison with my other foundations. This is not like a super super matte foundation. Also, I'm thinking if I was to be in Florida, I'm sure perhaps I would have loved this foundation because with the humidity levels, it would have been a little bit more radiant to my skin. While here in California, it's a little bit again i don't want to say it's super dry but a little bit on the drier weather so th those are things and factors that i think they are really important for you to assess before you know you go ahead and either purchase something or if you are like really like i don't know what to do i want to just give it a chance do i'm upset about this foundation no not at all like i said i have ways to make it work the way that I would like to be. I really like the longevity of the foundation, how it warms my skin without, you know, like skipping and sliding, also not creating patches. And interesting enough, before I jump in to do this final check-in right here, I was doing my meditation and I was using this right here. <laughs> so you may see a little mark right here. And even though that I was using this, so you can tell, so this is the front, I was using this side there's really no marks of the foundation coming off, you know, and I didn't have, again, another primer but the Tatcha one right here. So that also is impressive, you know, that it doesn't wrap off. You know, I think that's that's a really, really good sign for the foundation. As far as the lipstick goes, I reapply this one right here, which is called Soft Sienna. But throughout the day, I was using this one right here. I didn't reapply it and left a tiny amount of a stain really nice really beautiful when i went ahead and brushed my teeth after my lunch which i got a late lunch it removed completely and that's you know that's normal because of <laughs> you know because of the type of formula that it is but i really like the formulation it's not super thick it's very nice like i said it doesn't have a lot of pigment right away so you have to reapply it but overall really nice as far as the glitter on the pot goes it's glitter you know so it looks very pretty it has kind of like remove right in the middle i think it just gather below and it's something that it could be something fun for you know a night out i mean the, i i will not wear glitter you know morning time I, I mean that's just not me and i will say for glitter yes i mean if you want to go for valentino go for valentino but there's other glitters out there too the glitters on this one they are not super fine but they are not chunky either they are not too much but what you gotta be really impressed is this one right here the formulation of this blush right here is not only very interesting because it, when you touch it it's creamy kind of like spongy but when you put it on on your cheeks it's a little bit on that um matte side but it makes your cheeks look like a little porcelain doll very kind of like a cloud you know like very i don't know like a little pinch on your cheeks super beautiful blend like a dream but what i got to impress is the longevity look guys it has passed so many hours seven o'clock in the morning and i still have a, i still have blush that that my friends that is impressive okay my friends and i think this makes it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I would love to know from you if you have tried any of the products from Valentino Beauty. Which are the products that have like impressed you the most or which products are on your wish list? Let's enrich the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye!